Police brutalize IPOP members after soldiers attacked Eastern Security Network officers in Olo. Some policemen were spotted in a viral video beating young men believing to be IPOP members with sticks in Olo Imo State. Why the cause of the incident is still unclear at the time of filling this report. It is, however, coming after Governor Uzodema imposed a curfew in the local government and others. After a violent clash between soldiers and operatives of IPOP Eastern Security Network ESN. Thank you for listening to this news. The Nigerian Army and the Nigerian Police are just acting um acting unfair you see there is something that needs to be done before any action is supposed to be carried out but our nigerian police our nigerian armies are not doing that they have forgotten they have forgotten that these same people are the people that they went to meet in the forest. They went to meet them in the forest. These people never came to the barracks to meet them. They were the ones that came to the forest to look for them. And meanwhile, having done that, coming to the forest, they exchanged fire with them. Exchanging the fire with them, though no life was lost. But these people, even if they have the chance and the opportunity to kill them off, all, they didn't do that. They still left them and allowed them to run away. But they seized their hillocks from them. Now, looking at what they are doing to the... Um, to the to the uh, IPOP members on the streets. Will you tell me now that if Namdekano decide to release the Eastern Security Network as he has um, kindly call them back and ask them to leave alone? Can they be able to withstand them? Because when they, the Nigerian police came and couldn't face them, the Nigerian soldiers came, they tried twice, and they ran away by themselves without anyone asking them to run. Before they now enforced the use of the Air Force. You see that? We are making a big mistake. We are making a big mistake. And it doesn't go down well. It doesn't go down well. This is why they keep losing soldiers each time they come to attack or challenge the Eastern Security Network. Doesn't this pass a message to them that these guys are professionals? Doesn't it? Okay, look at now. Even with this new um, chief of army staff, even with him, he on his own supposed to use his professionalism to call the president and give him some level of advice and enlightenment. That is, if he will be willing to hear. And if he, the new uh, uh, service chief, will also be willing to inform the president or enlighten the president. One thing is to get enlightened. One thing is to accept. Sometimes it is very hard for, uh, uh, for President Mowbray to accept people's opinion. He is not even welcoming. And he doesn't pay attention. He is just like that. 
he is just like that he believes just on himself and himself alone he believes that nothing anyone can say to him you see that so you tell me is that okay with what president Mulberry is doing is that okay or is that right hmm? to me it's not if you say it is to me it is not at all in any way it is not it is not because even the people that they are making to face unrest and fear are the people that indirectly indirectly serve as an employer to them indirectly nigerians serves as an employer to the president and also to the Nigerian army and police. The president Momo Buhari is paid to protect the life and property of these people. At the end of the day, you end up being the one killing and causing unrest in the lives of these people and in their community. Look at what they did in Obibo. What they did in Obibo in River State is it is it something that is right? Hmm? Is that is it right? It can never be right, and it can never be okay. It can never be okay. And this is why the youths day after day go on the street in protest. They are the one causing it. You people don't want doesn't want a protest yet. You keep terrorizing the youth unnecessarily, causing unnecessary mayhem and an attack. If you know you don't want a protest, then act like a true police that you that that you that, you, that you're supposed to be. Eh? My viewers, I tell you that we are experiencing that the police are experiencing attack eh? is due to the lackadaisical like, attitude of our Nigerian police. You understand? Because if the Nigerian police has been up and doing, I see no reason why the uh, the, the, the youth will want to challenge them. I see no reason. Look at now. As we speak now, they have lost control on the youth. They have lost control on the youth. I don't think any policeman can be able to challenge the youth as we speak now. Even the, the soldiers now have lost control on the youth. The youth are now the one going after them, not them going after the youth anymore. You see that? Is that not an insult? Is that not a disgrace? Huh? Is that not a big disgrace? <laughs> oh, my viewers. Something needs to be done. Something needs to be done to put a stop to this craziness. Something needs to be done to put a stop to this uh, misinformation. Because I know that it is due to misinformation that is making our Nigerian police act the way they are acting. They are misinformed. So, my dear viewers, I will urge you to come in and air your own opinion concerning this matter. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated whenever we upload any new videos. Thank you.